Air conditioning systems consist of two main parts, the outdoor condenser and the indoor evaporator. The outdoor condenser is the AC unit that sits outside your home. This unit houses the electrical components that make the air conditioner run and the compressor that pumps refrigerant through the system. The indoor portion of the AC system is located inside the ductwork on top of your furnace. This is called the evaporator coil and is the part that allows cold air to be circulated throughout your home. These two components are connected by two copper lines, which allow refrigerant to flow between them. The refrigerant is what cools your home. The refrigerant works by absorbing heat in your home and transferring it outside, where it can be released at the condenser. This is why you feel hot air coming off the air conditioner's fan at the outdoor unit. Heat is also released through the coils that surround the outdoor unit. The air conditioner works in this way because the compressor can force a phase conversion in the refrigerant. Refrigerants, by nature, change states at comparatively low temperatures. The liquid refrigerant moves through the lines in your home, where it changes into a gaseous state as it absorbs heat from the air in your house. The refrigerant then takes the heat outside to the condenser, where the compressor compresses the gas under high pressure and turns it back into a liquid, and the cycle starts over again. This is the same reason that a can of compressed air gets cold when you empty it. The temperature of the refrigerant in the lines can get quite low as this cycle takes place. If you take a look at the copper lines, you might notice the big line starts to sweat with condensate and feel cool to the touch. This means it is working correctly. Conversely, a smaller line will feel warm while the air conditioner is running. However, if you see ice on the lines, you likely have a system that is low on refrigerant or is suffering from some kind of air restriction. Your air conditioner uses your furnace fan to distribute cool air throughout your home as it blows air over the evaporator coil. This produces condensate as humidity is removed from the air. All indoor evaporator coils have a drain line that leads either to a floor drain or a condensate pump to remove the condensate it creates. If you ever have any issues with your central AC system, feel free to click the link in the description to get in touch with your local HVAC contractors. We also have a free cheat sheet with 28 tricks that can help you save on your electricity, heating, or cooling bill each month. Click the link in the description to download.